Welcome to the Great Goaty Hunt. I'm Leo Vader. I'm here with uh, Thing 1 and Thing 2. Is that how you prefer to be described? That's, that's yeah. right. I have my, my, my traps. I have my my hunting gear ready to go. Ready to hunt a goatee. Hell yeah. Uh, Jeff Marquifava and Suriel Vasquez are here. And they're looking right. good. They're looking fitted. And they're matching red shirts. <laughs> what can you say? Love it. I, I slacked Fava earlier and said red shirts, and he just said red shirts. <laughs> Let's so go, boys. <laughs> nice. We're playing Undermine today. A little roguelite. Cute little roguelite that's got a lot of uh, fans in our community that carried our weekly Great Goatee Hunt poll to victory. Nice. And like any good roguelite, I have not seen this man before, and I don't know what he has to offer me. Because it's Dark A's TG scribed. Thanks, Dark Keeping that hype train rolling. We got we got quite the head start on the hype train while we were we may or may not have been troubleshooting some things. Yeah. But history doesn't have to remember that part. No. This is like my second run only, so like half an hour into the game. Controls are pretty basic. You've got your your X to attack. You've got your right bumper to throw your weapon, God of War style. Nice. Your jump is kind of used as your dodge. Pretty much. Okay. I've been invincible every time I've jumped so far. But I don't know if you really have iframes or if it really just gets you out of the way. But, Suri, I'll, I'll count on you to evaluate that as our fighting I will, game expert. I will, yeah, I, I will look for the iframes and let you know when I spot them. Iframe so expert. Th this feels more like um, the kind of Binding of Isaac vein of roguelite. Yeah. As opposed to what's on the other end of that spectrum. Uh, I guess this feels very dungeon crawly, whereas I think like the most recent stuff that I've played is something like Hades or even... Sure. I guess, I don't know if we talked about this before, but I, I, you can sort of say Battle Royales are like roguelite multiplayer games. Whoa. Expand on that, if you dare. You're blowing our minds. Because you have permadeath, right? When you die, well, most of them, a lot of them have kind of modified those rules. And if you die once, you're basically out and you start another run, right? It's not like a, like as opposed to something like deathmatch where once you die, like the whole point is to kill a certain number of enemies and then get to the end versus like, you, you have a, I had a really good run of, you know, Fortnite because I got to third versus, you know, I had a really bad run. So you can, it, it's like a run based multiplayer game. So you can sort of say that they're like roguelites. Uh, let's go to the judges. Okay, that's a great point. Turns out really smart observation. Okay, great. There Thank you go. You. Right on. Uh, Grizzled Gaming subscribed as well. Mm. Keeping the hype train going. The hype train is f rolling off the rails. The hype train is full snow piercer mode right now. Blasting through. I'm, I'm, I, I, I have encountered many things that need keys. So far, and I have not found any keys. And that's play the nature of roguelites, baby. Give yeah, it and take play it. Forward it mentions that it's just Zelda with jumping, which, you know, I'm not necessarily disinclined. I think Binding of Isaac did kind of use a lot of Zelda fundamentals, like, especially Zelda 1. This feels like very Zelda 1 esque dungeon crawler. For sure. Crawler. Definitely. I will say, though, it's like Zelda, but infinite. Ooh. You ready to announce uh, Nintendo's next game? <laughs> Zelda Infinite? Yeah, Zelda Infinite. I've got that little bird friend that picks up gold. This is a seems to be a very light roguelite. As in, yeah, you have a lot of persistent progression. Okay. Mm. Interesting that Electricity Gem was electrifying that water. There's a lot yeah. of moments of learning little cool things about the way this is laid out, the way the dungeons are laid out. Real quick, though, I do want to point out that Time Bomb Tom uh, gifted five subs oh. uh, in the chat. So he, he is, him and Silent Knight are our current kings. Time Bomb Tom. Hype conductors, you might say. In fact, he, he ended up giving Kyle a subscription, so. <laughs> Cheapskate? <laughs> yeah, that ended up outing Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think I got gifted a sub when I started here also. Yeah. Take what we can get. I, uh, there's another roguelite 
that's been getting a lot of buzz in our community called Neon Abyss, which is a bit more of a side scrolly bullet helly shooty game. Yeah, have you played any of that, Leo? I have. I played like I an played, hour of it. I played a bit too. Um, I wasn't feeling it as much. Yeah, me neither. There's some cool things about, oops. There's some cool things about the design, but mm -hmm. overall it doesn't quite carry me through that kind of combat. I just kind of get a little bored of yeah. bullet hells. I, I really like the aesthetic, but it I was just running into a lot of situations where you, and I'm wondering if this is like that too, where you needed a lot of keys and you needed a lot of grenades to blow up rocks. And, and I just wasn't getting many of either. It seemed like the procedural generation just didn't care, you know, what what I had it available to me. Sure, yeah, like it wasn't uh, calculating, giving you like. enough. Yeah. Sure. I will say I like the combat of this a little better so far. It's very active. Do you think that, like, how do you think that jumping influences things? Because it does seem like a game where you wouldn't be able to jump. Uh, and I'm curious as to how, how you think the, the jumping changes that kind of thing. Uh, it makes it, the way it's implemented, you kind of want to jump all the time. It is the only time you're safe. Yeah. So I think so it gives you kind of another thing to be thinking about and doing pretty consistently. If you're playing smart, yeah. which I like just for, you know, another combat like move to bounce between. Kind of working like a, yeah, like a Dark Souls roll or something where you're kind of just using it to evade more than like for like actual platforming. Right. The sign here said the mushroom grows in darkness. So I'm gonna take out all these lamps. There it is. There it is. New artifact. Shape. Biggie Boy points out Undermine and Neon Abyss are both on Game Pass. Yep. Oh, really? Wow. So Pick don't take our word for it. That exactly. is strange that you think about Fall Guys, you know, everyone, you know, like, deservedly made a big deal out of that game being available on PlayStation Plus right, of, right out of the gate. But that feels like it happens almost all the time with Game Pass. Like, there are a lot, tons of games that seem to launch. Yeah. Game Pass. And we, but it, it, they just people don't make as big of a deal out of it. Yeah, I wonder yeah. what those subscriber numbers are for uh, PlayStation Pass Plus versus, versus Game Pass, yeah. yeah. Now, how do I get over these spikes? Maybe I'm just supposed to eat a certain amount of health in order to get the chest, but I do not have the health to spare here. Yeah, I wonder if there's some sort of metal boots or something that could help you cross. The uh, the, the plants that you can cut down are, are feel like the most... Um, there's certain plants that look like just straight up shrubbery from Zelda. Yeah. Now this room, I came to a similar room before and I placed this artifact on it that I was previously using that duplicates mm. gold. So I wonder if that's a way of saving something you have for later or if it's a coincidence that I just got the same thing again. Either way, I, actually, no, I should save it because I'm about to die. So I'll save it for a better run. And once I do die, we'll be able to see more of the persistent progression. Should I die? I think I'm gonna give my life trying to get to this chest. And we'll see if I can do it. Okay. Go for it. Nope. Oh, that yeah. was that was a fast one. If I jumped right away. Wow. It's a whole like Master Chief esque like everything falls out of me when I die. Yeah. And they linger on it too. Really make you feel it. So that character is dead. And now we'll be introduced to a new character. Hello. This guy. Hello. I'm this guy. <laughs> so I can upgrade my bombs across every run. A literal fall guy. Blow up new kinds of rocks. I was wondering about that. I have seen rocks that my bombs don't go through. It's basically bombs and keys are kind of your two currencies to get through mm -hmm. the blockages you'll find on your runs. More swing damage, more health, more range damage. Lose less gold on death seems like the best one to invest in early on, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So you don't lose all your gold, you just lose some of it? Half? Mm -hmm. okay. Just a portion. Just and a these, portion. These are all permanent upgrades? Yes. The ones you buy in the hub, nice. you'll keep with you. Even though you're dying and becoming a new character. Fair enough, man. Yeah. Yeah, very Rogue Legacy vibes played forward, I would say. 
Very Rogue Legacy vibes. Nice. Which I love Rogue Legacy. I was just listening to that soundtrack the other day. Sequel's it's coming out soon, right? Super soon. Yeah. And I'm getting it on the MinMax show. I won it. That's right. Okay. All right. He's the only one who can play it. That's right. He fought us all off to get it. Yeah, there's a lot of, I think, you know, roguelikes kind of had their heyday, but I feel like they're still going pretty strong, I think. I I played some Spelunky, but I'm definitely, like, someone who didn't catch the hype train on Spelunky 1. But sure. seeing that Spelunky 2 feels like, it's like one of those sequels that just feels like it's designed to make the first game kind of irrelevant, assuming it goes well. Um, sure. So it'd be a thing where, oh, I can just jump into this one and have it, and have kind of that same experience, even if it is slightly different in like all these very like subtle ways definitely i was i played spelunky one for the first time in a long time just the other night and uh that game does hold up really well it really is a piece of perfect game design but yeah i agree with you that spelunky 2 could make it irrelevant especially with online multiplayer instead of having to do like the janky steam remote play thing to yeah. simulate local co-op I could also see them, you know, it, it almost feels like a, a Left 4 Dead 2 kind of thing where if you're going to play Left 4 Dead, it's Left 4 Dead 2, and then eventually they just ported all of the stuff from the Left 4 Dead 1 into Left 4 Dead 2. So right. They, like, so just put Spelunky yeah. in Spelunky 2 as Spelunky Classic. Exactly. And then, yeah. like, I, yeah. That'd be sort sweet. Sort of like Destiny is basically also doing that, where they're just like, ah, we'll just, instead of coming up with new raids, you just play through Vault of Glass again, the first raid that we ever designed. <laughs> you're welcome. Cool. Uh, Bobby ba Backwards has an important question. If Undermine and Spelunky were the stars of Fast and the Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, which game would be The Rock and which would be Jason Statham? <laughs> uh, Spelunky Very would be The Rock. Question. Definitely. Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like Spelunky has a solid chance if it ran for president, you know. Versus Jason, Jason Statham, I don't, you know, not not any disrespect to Mr. Statham, but I don't think that he would win that contest against uh, Mr. The Rock. Not to get political, but do you think The Rock knows that the second he announces interest in running for president, he could be the leader of the free world? I think he, yeah, he, he I knows. Think he's kind yeah. of. I think if you were to ask him, like, why aren't you running for president? I think he would give you like a short task of of irrelevant things, like, oh, I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my daughter from school. <laughs> right. And then you say, but The Rock, most schools aren't really inside. Like, they're most of them are at home now. And you say, well, you know, like, I'm going to a special boarding private school uh, in London, farm upstate. Um, I'm in a new movie. Right. You just don't have time. Chumanji 3. Yes. <laughs> I unlocked a kind of secret level. way down earlier, and I'm gonna find out when I'm done with everything else on this level, if that's to a different area than I normally go to, or just a shortcut to get down there. But yeah, I'm intrigued. I also wonder how much like the the choice based stuff in Spelunky 2 and something like this, how much uh, that factors into like how different runs can be, or whether they're kind of just giving you different ways to follow into the same kind of things where it's like it starts off wide and then you can go but eventually starts as you get towards the end it starts funneling towards a, a certain point right and i'm always curious too in the balancing of roguelikes like this how much they're able to make it luck based or not whether you do really well because binding yeah. of isaac felt like you just needed to get the right things in the right order until you had an unblockable build yeah unkillable but, I feel a little bit like that with Hades, where life steal is just so incredibly powerful that any run where I end up beating the game, it's going to be one where I have life steal. Yeah. So this was a unique secret little run. I love to see it. And the, an adorable little slime that flew off the screen, I guess. Yeah, those slimes I think are called pilfers, and when gold pops out, they race to get it before you. Oh. That's yeah. basically how that works. If you kill them, do they um? Do they give you the gold back? Uh, sometimes. I just hit one off the screen that was holding gold, and it just flew away with my gold. And that was too bad. People are pointing out that The Rock has recently purchased the XFL, so that might be another reason he's not running. Yeah. I like that you can circumvent having to unlock that with 
by blowing up the... the Play your way, dude. Door. Stealth in or go loud. Play your way. See that rock? You can blow it up. <laughs> Blueprints are the stuff that you'll pay gold for to get a permanent upgrade later. I'm not sure if there's a element of like unlocking elements to be pulled from for the random generation. I always like that, where just the more you play a roguelike, the more variety gets added to it. Yeah. Yeah. I will say they should add a sprint to this game. Because once yeah, you've done everything and you just want to get to the exit, you move a little slow for me. Like, just let you sprint through a room you've cleared, if you ask me. Yeah. I like it. I like that. I like a good dash. Yeah. Where it just feels like you're kind of, if you spam it correctly, you're running faster. Uh, you're moving faster than you would you want. Yeah. I like jumping backwards to attain uncapped speeds. The little, the littlest bit of the gameplay where you're just alternating between hitting and jumping and throwing your weapon, pretty satisfying. Yeah. I can see why everyone liked God of War so much. <laughs> I wonder if there's Schedule a way to Mike says it reminds him of Moonlighter, which was another quality roguelike. Hmm. <laughs> I ran up to that sign that said warning minefield as mines right next to me were popping off. Oh my god. Oh lord. I just want to clear them all out at this point. Are you done? All the mines? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's, see, I thought that was like a, a like a gap. Yeah. Like oh yeah, no, out. that's oil. Yeah, I didn't think the think it was oil. <laughs> like Spelunky too. Got a lot of liquids that can be interacted with in various ways. I'm curious if I can get like a fire attack or some way to create sparks to do more with the oil slicks because I haven't seen that yet. I guess you can burn it, or maybe someone's just suggesting it. I don't know if you have any kind of fire weapons. No. I mean, if I put a bomb, I bet that would set it on fire. But bombs are very valuable. And I might want to spend it to get that meat, because also you can, if I saw in my run last night, a uh, steak, one of those steaks got set on fire, and then after it went, on, went out, I ate it and it gave me more health. Since it, since it was cooked, Zelda style. I do like it when, when games do that, where you can modify food items, uh, or like they'll throw stale you don't eat them. Yeah. I think it was a recent game that did. I think it might have been Remnant. I appreciate being immersed, food immersed. We call those mechanics. Yeah. Food immersion mechanics. Thanks, Thorin, for the big Prime sub. Using his free Twitch Prime gaming subscription. Now, these will only be with me for this run at this little shop. Yeah. Swap your items around. Okay, so I think it turns my bombs into keys. I kind of want to do that. And I'll get another bomb. And I'll drink this. So apparently I got three you can't unlock the ability to sprint eventually. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know if it's... It, it, uh, one Dan Tack says uh, that it's a permanent upgrade. So maybe it's just a thing you you just find later. Thanks, Dan. Uh, yeah, okay. Then I have no complaints about the game. There you go, it's perfect Great. now. Ugh. Except these giant rats. Can you imagine a rat up to your waist? Oh god. Could it be it's anything like worse in the world? a dog. Yeah, it's <laughs> legally it's a like dog. A, 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 like, it would take me a I would have to be at a certain distance to be able to distinguish it from a dog. Right. I'm gonna go use my key. With my lack of sprint.
a very Zelda-like roll, this jump. Makes you feel like you're going faster when you're not yeah. at all. Increased defense at critical health. That sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like where I'm at. I do like that they keep the, the map on, on screen at all times, and they really simplify it just so that you're never really lost about where to go. Because I feel like maps in in uh, horizontal like Metroidvania games are pretty common because that's so part and parcel with like inspiring um, kind of that retro feel. But with like anytime it's overhead, it feels like maps are kind of not as common at all. Yes, they're very helpful for uh, for navigation, but it's like it sucks when a when a map is so accurate that it's be more helpful to look at than to look at the game. Yeah, you like a, a Metal Gear Solid kind of like, well, I'm basically just watching the vision cones on the mini map, basically, and, not, and ignoring basically uh, everything else. Right. But this is kind of the perfect, where it goes away when you're fighting, too. Yes, so it's not distracting. Yeah, it's implemented well. I like that it shows <laughs> what items are left in in rooms too. Yes, for sure. Oh, Neon Abyss does that as well. Yeah. Don't take my gold. They got you. It's got weird me. that they just kind of go off the edges. Aren't those supposed to be walls? Yeah. Well, they're slime, so I guess you could, you could say that they're kind of sneaking through like the, the cracks and stuff, but mm -hmm. it is weird to see them just like go out of bounds. Mm -hmm. What you got up here? Back in the shop. Oh. Oh yeah, you can just go back there. Definitely not a, a place I would like to keep off limits. <laughs> this is the secret menu, dude. Ooh. Should I sell her a relic? I don't know. I do want money. So these relics, they're not permanent, right? They're just for that run? Yes. Okay. Which I'll sell the one I just got. Trick bomb for a steak. Always make that deal. Drop gold continuously. I'm sure it caps that. Uh -oh. At zero? Once they're at zero, you won't drop gold. Oh, you're, okay. I so think it's just, yeah. You I don't know. Generate, I'm gonna buy it to oh, see what it what it's like. Okay. Okay. It's a potion you drink, so it doesn't last forever. I'm sure. Glug glug glug. <laughs> this looks like that Dave Chappelle skit coming to life. What a value. Also, yeah, it must be a good uh, a good day for those slimes. <laughs> you just see all this gold coming at it. <laughs> Feeding time. Oh, Shazira, gifting a sub to Dan Tack. Wow. There you go. Can you do that to specific Thank you. people? I always thought it was like a random thing. If it's if it was a random thing that just happened to be gifted to Dan, that that's super fun. <laughs> the fire that comes out of those explosive barrels does hurt me and set me on fire. You do have to dodge that. So that's a yeti that is the saddest oh. like not not like poor excuse but like it just looks sad it doesn't want to be there at all also you're dead yeah <laughs> well yetis are not naturally underground creatures that's true they usually like to be in the snow i've most associated but i guess usually the snow is outside damn look those little, little guys slides. are having a field day with your gold <laughs> damn Lucky them. That one just weird... pushed past me. Yeah. So rude. Also, a weird kind of like push and pull when the um, the kind of the signature enemy is so cute, like the slimes in Dragon Quest. Where they're just like, oh yeah, here's this really adorable mascot for our franchise. It's the thing you kill all the time. Yeah. Well, at least they just fly away in a goofy way, and they're not just getting yeah. splattered and That's right. screaming. <laughs> just crying for their lives. Right. Carry on. I was watching a friend play Carry On. I finally watched the gameplay of that with audio. People are screaming <laughs> the whole time. The whole yeah. time. It bummed me out. 
You monsters like that? I haven't played it, so I did I, 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 I have a. I knew you were one of the good ones. Yeah. I didn't particularly like it as much as Kyle either. Kyle was really into it. Yeah, he's the sicko. Yeah. I think he, yeah, he's like me. Said this is my thing now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know any other weird sickos? <laughs> <laughs> trying to start looking, a discord server yeah. looking to enter sicko mode can you help <laughs> that was a little fun that he went to me yeah hmm. yeah that's kind of insulting yeah you're the sicko pal yeah I'm not the one playing the game with the uh, screaming bodies everywhere this is a rat nest that's gonna spawn more rats if I don't put a stop to it I like increasing my throw damage yeah. Do smart stuff Being like able that. to kill things from safe, uh, from a safe distance is usually good. Invaluable. Love a ranged build. I wonder if there will ever come a time where I hit one of those bomb slimes and the bomb uh, helps me. It doesn't just scare me when it explodes. So and I said someone on Reddit said that eat, they eat ketchup with cereal. <laughs> I don't. I can't condone. <laughs> yeah, you should give uh, Kyle his number. <laughs> Just, just text him a picture of that instead. Here's a recommendation. Yeah. This for sick you. enough for you? <laughs> Wait, what is going on here? I thought this was spewing something. I like the look of this game. It's you know it, pixely, but yeah. it's got a personality. Yeah, it does look uh, like a like a fusion of Spelunky and Binding of Isaac in a kind of a weird way. Yeah. In that it's like the style of Binding of Isaac, but with more of a Spelunky aesthetic. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I was trying to skip one. Also, those spikes yeah, uh, notably don't follow like the classic spike rules of like once you get hit by spikes, you're kind of invulnerable for a little while. They will just no immediately mm -hmm. melt you. That is continuous damage. Yeah. Status effect on spikes. Which I feel like at some point, not that I've ever stepped in a spike pit because I've never really encountered one, but I feel like at some point yeah. you would figure out how to like slowly maneuver around the individual spikes. And it's not like you're constantly <laughs> touching the tips, if they're, especially if they're long enough. Yeah. You're just going to like kind of bend your legs or like do whatever you can to like kind of move through them. Especially spikes like this where you can see the holes at all times. Yeah. As long as I'm stepping in the areas between these spikes, that's a great. I feel point. like I'm okay. Thank you. Throw really fast. That's, that's kind of how Prince of Persia did it, didn't they? Where if you fell on them, you would die, but you could, if you were on the same plane as them, you could walk through them. Yeah, Spelunky does that as well, actually. Small world, small gaming there world. There you go. They got it figured out. That's how you should do it. I am all. I love this fast throw I've got now. It does like look really pivotal. nice. Whoa! That one's on fire! It's playing goofy music now. It's still happy though. I wonder if I should have really kicked the crap out of that slime. Because the goofy music ended when it left. Mm. And it made me miss it. So I guess that was a, a like a sort of loot goblin, as people are saying? Yeah, seems like it. Okay. And I could have bonked it harder for more. Yeah. Honestly, it was too cute. I didn't feel like doing damage. Yeah. It does still look kind of weird when the, uh, the slimes go out of bounds and then just exit the entire area. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, Monkey. I don't dislike it, but it it looks weird. Sure. It, it feels like a thing that shouldn't be happening. Like they should find a more elegant way to exit. But... Monkey Bar says you can hit the gold on the wall, by the way. Right, yes. That's something I'm aware of, but don't notice enough. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. That's a skeleton. That's a skeleton. <laughs> I'm low health. He seems pretty casual, but though. 
Yeah. Yeah, especially since he's thrown his old own bones at you. Uh, yeah. I don't feel yeah. like you want to do that like nonchalantly. Yeah. He wants to die, it seems. <laughs> I would like it like first. Metal Gear Solid 3 the end style. If you just let him throw enough bones, he would run out <laughs> he of them. Dies. He'd just be a skeleton. I mean, a skull. At some point, he oh, just has Leo. to throw his leg at you and he just falls and starts crawling around. <sighs> nice. Oh no. <laughs> this is just, just, just looks wrong. Can I bait him into the spikes? Okay, that's working. Maybe I should head out. Oh, it still isn't open. Well, you got a key at least. Hell yeah, I did. What do we got? Restore some health? Let's keep it going. I'm sure there's an upgrade for improving how much uh, food heals you, because it does not heal you very much at all at the start. People are just signing off with weird food combinations. What's the? What's some of the weird ones? What are we got uh, there? Sriracha and Coke. Says Infinite Soup, which I feel, I don't know how much of it is, I'm just making stuff up to, to be like, yeah weird or if people actually try the <laughs> stuff they're, they're suggesting yeah Someone people uh you spaghetti. know make filling out their applications for kyle's sicko server <laughs> that's right i really want to get into the sicko server. uh it's major panis spaghetti is like squishy long pizza which is like at some point you can anything is like anything if you modify it enough times <laughs> good point driving is just like walking inside a car you know well, for the Flintstones. It's true. <laughs> He's got you there, Serial. Damn. Yeah, checkmate. You didn't think your example through. <laughs> you got Flintstoned. Owned by Logic, a classic Flintstoning. <laughs> Flintstoning, yeah. <laughs> nice. What the hell? Forgot to give me treasure. Oh, I thought for a second there that smoke indicated that you were going to get something. Yeah, that was weird. Wow. Wait, maybe there's a secret in that room. Do you think I have to bomb this? Do you think I have to... No, I shouldn't spend any more bombs. Do you have to yeah. bomb the Blow statue? Blow the dark spots, monkey bar says. Well, I'm being lied to. Or maybe I had to do all of them and that I just spent all my bombs. Not doing it. Could have blown the statue up, sure. Fair point. Is there a, um, do they give you a little bit of story beforehand about what, what you're doing in the mines? Yeah. There are some earthquakes. I believe you to be investigating. Okay, so you're you're here to investigate earthquakes then. I think so. There's not like a hey, you have to get to the bottom of the whole mine in order to get like a treasure. Maybe the earthquakes are because people are throwing bombs all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who investigates it eventually causes an earthquake, so we have to send another <laughs> we have to send someone else to investigate. <laughs> I'm expecting a powerful message about uh, the dangers of fracking. Oops. Oh, mm. there's one right there. So, yeah, speaking of fracking. Yeah. I fracking oh, lost. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Rip. that rat was clawing your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Insult to injury. Still going at it. Come on. The Yeti is to fracking as Godzilla is to nuclear power, Donnie Danico says. Makes you think. Smart. So there's a potion shop I haven't uh, unlocked yet. Yeah, here's that upgrade I was talking about. Increase the effectiveness of food. 
makes milk with root beer. I feel like milk and soda I've seen before, but I haven't tried it, and it doesn't sound good. But I've, I've well, definitely... I mean, is, isn't that just like a root beer float that's melted? Maybe, but it's not yeah. as sweet, right? Because like ice cream is is way sweeter. So I don't know how the, the difference between that and milk would affect it, but. Yeah. Uh, Maybe like a milk, it would end up being like a milk stout beer, kind of. Yeah, I think so. Because there's more to the ice cream component of a root beer float and what it does for it than just the milk. You know, it's mostly the vanilla flavor, I would say. And that's what it works with the. It's basically root just root itself. beer, root beer and milk if you add sugar to it, though. So. And then drink it in your car that you're pedaling with your feet. <laughs> that is just illegal. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. They don't let you do that anymore. No. Yes, speed wear minimums. These days. How fast do you think they were going in those things? <laughs> like, Can you imagine more, Usain really Bolt in one it, of those right? things? Usain Bolt just doing 60 <laughs> on the freeway in a Flintstones car? <laughs> but at some point, it's like, if you're just going by yourself, why even take the car? Yeah. Like, just well, walk, legally, sprint. to get through like a drive through and stuff. That's true. Back yeah. In, yeah, back when those two things existed concurrently, <laughs> when <laughs> when people were actually pedaling with their feet and had drive-throughs, right? It wouldn't give you any service unless you pedaled up in your car. <laughs> Poison Beery with the sub. Thanks, Poison Beery. I remember trying to go through a drive-through in like a th three-wheeled bike. With like a sidecar, okay. just a bicycle. Okay, cool. When I was too young to drive. They didn't, they pretended not to know I was there. Just <laughs> completely ignored me. They closed the window? Yeah, it was rude. Was this like at late night and you couldn't, uh, you can't go through the counter? Right, exactly. I've taken a relic that increases my swing damage, but decreases my throw damage. And I should really start playing like it, but I'm still throwing out of habit. <laughs> I feel like I, the the throw is like such a low investment thing, though, that I don't, as long as it's not like a time thing. Like if, I, I could see it maybe for a boss, but it, if it's like the still the safest way to get damage yeah, across. Yeah, you may as well chip away. It. Yeah, and save like the, your increased melee damage for like the larger enemies or I don't know if there are bosses in this game. There are, yeah. Or at least mini bosses from what I've seen. Big bigger health bars pop up on the bottom. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't think those spikes are going down. Yeah, what's that the is trick to that? So then it does feel like eventually you're gonna get an item that lets you just Breeze through spikes. Yeah. Or it's really, they really want you to pay the price, pay the blood price. Yeah. So do you take damage every time you move, or is it like a per second thing? Every time I move, yeah. Every time I move on spikes. Yeah, Infinite Soup asks, what is it about slime that's enthralled every game since Dragon Quest? I don't know. I wonder if they are just trying to capture that, like, here's a cute enemy energy. And it's in the language of gaming, it's a very weak enemy. So yeah. you know not yeah. to be intimidated by it. Usually, like, like in Final Fantasy, slimes are the ones where you have to use magic. So there's also, like, this weird, like, communal language where you see a slime and you think, oh, I probably shouldn't just whack it with my sword. I should use some sort of spell. But that's not, that's not, like, a universal thing. True. Monkey Bar says, talk to the blacksmith for the spike solution. Uh oh. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. Like, uh, a Neo 2 has slimes, and those don't really work the way they do in Final Fantasy, where it's, you're basically just waiting for them to attack you, and, like, they have a, a skull crystal in the center of their, like, slime body. And so, when they, after they attack, they kind of leave that exposed, and if you hit that, it's basically, like, a one or two hit kill. But otherwise, your attacks don't really do much. Which I guess makes sense, cause like you know their bodies are jelly, so why would a why would whacking it with a sword do much? But right. You trick these slimes into jumping in the pit. 
I'm a biggie boy says anyone from the Minmax crew play Slime Rancher. That game was as adorable as it is addicting. I did play that one. And you're right on both accounts. Yeah, I played a bit of that. Did you end up reviewing it or was that someone else? Uh, I think I want to say Joe reviewed that one. Joe, uh, uh, uh Joseph Joe? Juba. Oh, Joe Biden. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Joe, Bi Joe Biden reviewed it for us. He he actually reached out to us and said, "Hey, just have to prove nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to review Slime Ranch for you guys. I'm not doing anything else. I have it written already. It's my Joe Biden." That's that's spot on. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We've got so many bombs now. Practice. This is fantastic. I definitely saw a secret in that previous room that I think I needed a bomb for. Now I'm about to go do it and go get rich. The, uh, the allegiance of the slime is also weird because they're leaving you items here and they're like, hey, just take them, yeah. But they're also they're also stealing from you, so they, I guess they just really above all just want gold, and they'll take it from you however they can, whether it just drops out of your body or they can negotiate with you to get some more of it. Right. Nice. You, although now you you're just facing an enemy who's also on fire. <laughs> That's true. Wasn't fully thought through. It's Major Panda asks how Borderlands was with Captain Stubbs last night. And I did play Borderlands with Captain Stubbs last night. We had a good time. Ah. Which one did you play? A little, three? A little Borderlands 3. Ah. The least spoken about of the yeah. <laughs> trilogy. It does feel like that. It, Captain it does feel like that game came out, was incredibly popular, but no one talks about it. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Stubbs said that he has put 2,500 hours into Borderlands 2. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a lot. That That, that is a ton of hours, but I thought you were going to say three, and I was like, that is ridiculous to have put that. Yeah, has it even been game. out long enough to do that? Yeah. Has it been out for 2,500 hours? <gasps> oh, that's a lot of keys. That's a lot of keys. Oh, man. Leo, I think that room just turned you into a janitor. <laughs> How many keys do you have? Wow, you should hear them jangle once you have a certain amount. A little That'd jangle cool. sound effect. That'd be cool. I went over here, right? I think so. You have that. I don't know how. Yeah, Does it show here. revealed rooms on the map? Uh, yes. Okay, so I think you're just missing it's... the room that takes you downstairs. You right, like right. You can also check on your relics. You can see them in the lower left, and you can go in the menu and remind yourself oh, what you've got. I'm a big biggie boy. What's, sir? What's your destiny playtime at? I can actually think I there's a site where you can look that up because I don't think you can do it on PS4, but I think there's a website that will pull that data for you. To... What do you guess it is? And I, I, what I, do you I, guess I, it's measured in weeks? Hours. I, it's probably. I think most sites use hours. Well, I mean your playtime. Um, I think you could easily measure it in days at this point, yeah. Because I think I know, I can check my Steam time for sure. Uh, I don't know if it'll pull up both my Steam hours, but I... On Steam, so for the, just for the PC version, which came out last year, I have 240 hours. And then, on Stadia, there was an error loading my data. Perfect. Uh, but I play. I probably played like half an hour, and I was testing out Stadia. Uh, so for Destiny One, I have a uh, 185 hours, and uh, on PS4, I have 876 hours. That's about a thousand, about 1,100 hours total. Let's say across all three. I think. Guys, I've just made a deal with the devil. I'm gonna block uh, a hit Jake, every once in a while. Jake TZ says if Captain Studs played Borderlands 3 for seven and a half hours a day with zero days off since the day it came <laughs> out, he'd be around 25 
hundred hours. If it was his full time job. Yeah. Well, there you go. Stub something to aspire to. You now have four curses. Yeah, I think I took three to get this good relic, but one of my curses is that my relics are gonna get destroyed as I kill enemies. Oh. Oh, that's that fun. Seem like a good deal. That I, you know, you make a deal with the devil, you're gonna get. Devil. God. Yeah. You're gonna get Flintstone. You're gonna get Flintstone. Oh. Okay, block that hit though. That was nice. I'm also curious as to what our 2500 of Borderlands 2 looks like. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I feel like as much as people like those games, those games feel finite in a way that even something like Destiny, like they get new content every day, I don't know, it feels like. Uh, Borderlands, it's just like you can level up every character to the max level, you can do all these different runs. Do all the. Right? There's like a progression past, uh, yeah, like between it, run progression. It sounds. It what sounds called awesome like... points. Something like that. Badass points. Yeah, thank you. Epic uh, sauce I, points. Yeah, I think they have... I don't know if he was talking about Borderlands 2 or 3, but it sounded like they kind of have a Diablo system where it's like you're basically choosing a, a next higher tier so the enemies are harder, but the loot becomes better as you go on. You'll notice the torches are now shooting fireballs at me. That's another curse I have. Oh, it's fun. rough out here, guys. <laughs> and I think my curse that's uh, just going to destroy relics as I kill enemies, it's like counting down in the upper left. You see on the relic, there's a 48. Mm. It's oh. counting down how many I have left till that happens, maybe? So it initially gave you a relic, but now it's going to destroy all the rest of them? I might even destroy itself. Or not itself, but the relic I traded it for. Which would be tragic. Any curse removers here? No curse removers. All right. See, am I gonna make more, more than 180 gold off this potion? I better. So can count Only one way to find out. You were at 1043 when you, when you got it. Right. It doesn't matter if I stop these damn slime pilferers. Be gone! Okay, so even at this point, you've easily made back uh, the 180 yeah. you were okay. at. Okay. 1293, so. I like it. It's basically like make a bonus room wherever you want. Yeah. Well, this seems great. Hope doesn't get destroyed by my curse. Monkey Bar says you do unlock ways to remove curses, aside from the shop. That's cool. So I'm on my way to the exit there. I'm gonna keep exploring this. It seems like level four is where people said the boss is, so we're about to meet our maker. God, I do not need more keys. <laughs> I do like that that lantern curse just turns all the lanterns in every room into an enemy. Like, it's a cool yeah, idea. Yeah. I like kind of weird one-off modifiers like that. Yeah. Level up? I have a level up my little critter? That thing's adorable. Oh, it's so Did cute. Did you add one automatically? Add one? Oh, are you at, so leveling up lets you add another helper or does it? I think my helper up? itself leveled up. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the upper right, you can see a two by that little bird now. My little bird friend. Love that. Oh no. <laughs> All right, we're good. Nice. Don't even think about it. Oh! I, well, thought, I really thought they weren't going to do it there. Wait until the last moment. Oh, great, another key. 
Just what I needed. Oh! Fire damage lasts so long. Yeah. And I've got that other relic where I'm doing damage to everything around me when I get hit, so that's why the spikes are coming out of me. Hmm. I mean, you can maybe use that at some point, but I feel like it's probably not worth it with the with the amount of damage fire does. Yeah, for sure. He's one of my six keys. Ooh, sometimes drop meat from enemies. That's pretty good. Leo likey. Yeah, I, I guess I hadn't noticed that, like, I guess the actual weapon you're using hasn't been super relevant up until now. Not really. Like, uh, you have the throwable weapon and the melee weapon, but it just seems like it, that is maybe the extent. There are, yeah, there are definitely ways to get different weapons, but it doesn't happen every run. Okay. I need a special key for this. I wonder if it's like a, a thing you have to find in the dungeons and then you come back to this, or could you have found it during this run? It's gotta be somewhere on this level. Maybe it's under that, um, there's a hole. There's like that thing with chains on it. I wonder if you can open that. Oh, up. back there? Okay, I'll check that out. There's some meat. It's already paying off. Credit to this curse also. It has blocked a lot of hits for me. Credit where it's due. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is it, fellas. Yeah. I think I got killed by the spikes. Oh. Under the right of me is a skull, so I'm not gonna go in there just yet. Let's try this potion out. Well, you definitely do need keys. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, should I buy this one also? Monkey Bar says you don't get other weapons, you get weapon modifiers during your runs. Yeah. I think it makes them look different, though. I had a big axe once. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that cleaver is, like, notably different, but I think maybe, like, mechanically it's not super different, other than the thing where it drops meat. Mm hmm So you definitely don't want to go that, down there, it seems. I'm not going down there just yet. Need to grind for meat. Oh god. Those slimes are getting covered in oil. Oh god, no. You like the antagonism of the of the, of the torches just always being on there. <laughs> yeah. It is a uh, not a curse I'd want to have. IRL, if all my lights yeah. in my house were doing this to me. Trying to constantly shock you whenever you were walking your little... Oh, so I guess you have to do it from the other Come side, up so. for, from the boss level, huh? Yeah. Does this not save? They're telling me to get the relic here, but I think this is my relic that I've saved on this little... Oh my god. <laughs> god. <laughs> look what you've done to me. I need to look and see what I want most here, I guess. Like you know, I need that cleaver. Going into a boss battle, especially. There's no way I win this boss battle with 56 health. Unless. I don't know. Unless. Not with that attitude. The chat came together and really believed yeah. in me, but 
They wouldn't do that, would they, guys? No, they that wouldn't. doesn't deliver us another hype train. <laughs> <laughs> no, not possible. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> you better get in there before they Oh, this is Zelda. Yeah. yeah. It's awakening. Yeah. Yeah. Bonk. Get ahead of the tip. Bonk, bonk. Oh, that slime isn't friendly at all. If these little slimes give me meat, this could be good. That is true, yeah. Oh! Good dodging, Leo. Thank you. Nope. Oh, 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 it did block nice. that attack. My immunity. Uh. Okay. Uh, what's that around you? Ooh. No! I got webbed. You always go ads first. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh, wow. No. Ron Alude. Ron Alude. Ron Alude. Wow. He doesn't look dead. He just looks like he's sad. You know? It's like, oh man, I dropped all my gold. <laughs> no one will be able to use this gold. <laughs> my gold. Well, great. I'm glad that happened. Actually, uh, I'm happy that. This game seems cool. Yeah. I'm excited to play more of it. I'm gonna go play this. Right now? It is, it is on Game Right Pass. now. I think I actually had already downloaded it from Game Pass. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, perfect. So it's waiting for me. Ooh. Hello. Okay, so this is where you craft the modifiers or not modifiers but like things that make the runs different like new relics right. that you'll start seeing and that's that special purple currency right okay cool and here's how you break spikes i want that one for sure boots. give me those sweet boots sweet uh thanks for joining us everybody this is a fun stream yeah seems pretty cool yeah uh we'll catch you all next time Tuesday, noon central, twitch.tv slash minmax show on the great goatee hunt. Goodbye. This was a good one. This was a good one. They, they Remember, picked good. Yeah. Yeah, you can vote. You can vote on Patreon. $10 tier. Oh. Make your voice heard. If you hated this game, you have to give us money to make us not play games like That's it in the right. future. That's right. We're just playing this one from now on. Until, until you people... give us money. That's right. <laughs> Bye. We're holding our audience hostage. Bye. Yep. If you want to get your name or Twitch or YouTube channel in the description of everything we release, record a podcast with us, put a picture of your choice on MinMax's TV or a whole lot more, you can check out the benefits for supporting us on Patreon. If you support MinMax at any tier on Patreon, you can submit questions or comments for us to read on the air, and you'll also get access to the wonderful MinMax Discord. We need your help to keep this whole indie trainer rolling, so we'd appreciate it if you checked us out.